But if you see this in your store, come closer. Buy like four or five of them. I'm so serious. All right, you guys, so we're back, okay, for the Sephora VIB sale. I cannot believe it is here already. Like this year is just in a rush, okay? How is it April already? I don't, I don't know. But I am super excited because it is my favorite time of the year to spend my 20% off, you know, when it comes to Sephora. And y'all know every single year I do these videos and they're very in depth because I pretty much mentioned all the products that I love in my collection. Um, so I will go ahead and link those videos for you guys above and also in my description, you know, box down below as well. But for this video, I wanted to go ahead and just mention products that I'm currently loving, that I'm currently using at this moment, okay? I don't want it to be too long, but it always ends up being long, so it is what it is. But these are my favorite, you know, products at the moment that I'm loving, that I use all the time, okay? So if y'all are interested to see, you know, what I recommend for you guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, and let's see what your girl okay it's gonna share with you guys today all right so let's go ahead and start off with primer i just have three that i want to mention nothing too crazy the first one is the georgia armani luminous silk hydrating primer this they actually sent to me and you guys know i'm oily like i'm very very oily but the name luminous silk was just so intriguing to me so i went ahead and applied it on my face and this is what i'm actually wearing today i use this all the time it gives you a nice glow you guys literally on your face i will say for the summertime if you're oily probably stay away from this um just because it will make you very very dewy and glowy throughout the day but you know when you're in the house or running little errands here and there if you have oily skin it's very nice to play with this because i just love the way it makes my skin look now if you do have dry skin baby this is probably gonna be your favorite primer in the whole entire world it is just so bomb it feels like silk it feels very just moisturizing on the skin it gives you some glow like it's just perfection you guys i love this stuff okay now because i'm oily i've been using the one size secure the sweat primer in my t-zone y'all can tell okay look like look at how skinny that is i have run out i need a new one but this one's really great for your um t-zone if you do have oily skin and you want to be matte wherever you want to be matte go ahead and use a little bit of this apply on that area and you're pretty much good to go okay so this is this one and then of course you guys know for sunscreen i love my saint jane luxury sun ritual pore smoothing primer this one i use all the time like no matter what primer i use on my face i have to apply this because sunscreen is so important you guys all right so i go ahead and apply it all over and i love the way it just really helps my skin with the sunscreen portion but also it doesn't make it dewy it's like a very nice finish on my skin and it always looks great with my makeup so this one you guys know i use all the time like i always always have this in my routine okay because i'm obsessed with it um but i will say you guys if you have any favorite primer out there let me know because for this sale i want to try something different um i love the danessa one that one i run out of it all the time though but just let me know like any primers you love for combination skin or oily skin please because i want to try something new okay so next up i do have the ula harrington banana bright vitamin cc stick in the shade pumpkin all right so i just love this you guys because it's so easy to work with i literally go ahead and apply this underneath my eyes around my mouth anywhere that i do have like dark marks i will go ahead and apply this but it's just so good you guys like it's so easy to work with i used to work with a lot of orange correctors where you had to use a brush and dip into it and then apply like it was just too much i need something quick easy and fast these days and this one just works for me and it gives you the coverage you need as well like it doesn't move around throughout the day now for foundation i do have three that i am just completely obsessed with this is the georgia armani luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation y'all know this is like an og in the game okay but i got around to using it last year when they sent this over and i was like wait wait like i see the hype all right it doesn't matter if you have oily skin dry skin combination skin it doesn't matter this looks so good you guys like it looks like your skin but better i wear this shade number 10 in case you're interested but this just melts into your skin like butter and even though i do have oily skin it doesn't make me oily like it just looks like a normal foundation on the face it's not matte but it's not super dewy it's just like right in the middle and it's just perfection literally in the bottle 
Now, also, you guys know I love my Dior face and body foundation. I talk about this every single year. What is there not to say about this? Like, it looks like skin. It melts into your skin really nicely. It doesn't look cakey. You can keep applying as much as you want, you guys. I feel like this will never get cakey on the skin. Um, and every time I wear this, it just gives me a nice, healthy glow. It's not dewy, okay? It just gives you, like, a nice glow on the skin. Um, and it just lasts all day. It doesn't move. It doesn't break down. It is just perfection, okay? Literally one of my favorite foundations out there. I'm obsessed with it. And then also... La Mer baby this is a soft fluid long wear foundation from La Mer now y'all know I was a little bit crazy when I bought this I think I bought this last year or maybe the year before I think this is like 140 some dollars I don't know but regardless y'all I see why it's worth the hype it is skincare and foundation in one but this is literally my perfect match I have this in the shade Sienna 63 literally matches me like to the T, but also it just looks so natural it literally just like i say the other two like the other two foundations melt into your skin but this one is like a different level like it's almost like you're not wearing foundation if that makes sense and it just wears beautifully throughout the night every time i check my face it just looks great still it's not breaking down none of that you guys like it's such a great foundation i i see like the hype but it is pricey it is pricey i'm not gonna lie to you guys but that's why we're gonna go ahead and use you know the sale to our advantage because that way you save a little bit of money now for concealer i have two and if you guys know anything about me like my favorite concealer in the whole entire world is the pat mcgrath concealer this baby the formula it gives you like a very nice gel consistency it gives you the highlight the coverage that you're looking for it just looks bomb like to me i'm very picky about concealers but this one every time i try concealer i'm just like eh it's not Pat McGrath because there's just magic in here. If you've tried it, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but it just makes your under eyes look so flawless, okay? Now, this contender, this one kind of snuck up on me. I wasn't expecting it. This is a Fancy Beauty Wear Even Hydrating Long Wear Concealer. Fenty. And I'll say this, and you know, I've tried a lot of Fenty Beauty products, you guys, when it comes to the face, the lips, all of that good stuff, right? But this one, in my opinion, is the best complexion product that they do have. Um, the way this just like melts into the skin, I'm very picky about using that word for products, but I was not expecting this. So I have the shade 445N. And how I use this, and I have this all over my face, you guys. I don't have foundation on my face. I just have this concealer. Okay, think about that. So I go ahead and take this, put it on my under eyes, around my mouth. I spot conceal on my face, so on, so on, right? And I go ahead and blend this in, and it just looks so good. It's to the point where, like, I wear foundation once in a while now but pretty much when i you know have my face done i'm just wearing this concealer because it just gives you the coverage that you need a little bit goes a long way typically with a lot of concealers i have to keep going over and over the area to cover up like my dark marks or my hyperpigmentation but this one a little bit is all you need you guys it is so bomb like out of all the products i'm gonna mention this is probably like my favorite product which is so crazy to say so for the under eyes i do have a little bit of a system now so i always go in with the charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in the shade dark number three so you guys know when it comes to your under eyes it is honestly best to go in with a finishing powder before you put your set and powder on top it's been around for a long time when it comes to like this you know technique but this underneath the eyes is so bomb i actually ran out and i need a new one during the sale so that's what i'm gonna do so this is really great at smoothing and just like setting the under eye before you go in with your highlight shade and then after that i do go ahead and apply the huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade banana bread just the huda powders in general you guys like i'm obsessed i've used this for years like have i mentioned any other setting powder at this point for my under eyes like she is number one okay she is number one it's just the best when it comes to giving you you know the coverage the highlight the brightness all of that is just perfection i'm obsessed i use this all the time and then also when she came out with her press version um this is the easy bake and snatch 
pressed powder i have this one in the shade kanafa and this one in the shade banana bread so throughout the day if i do want to go ahead and touch up i will use this or sometimes if i want a little bit more brightness i will go ahead and use this underneath the eye but these three together you guys literally obsessed so now let's move on to setting the face i do have the urban decay all nighter press powder you guys know how i feel about this baby like when i run out of this i literally have to go ahead and get it because i use this for so many different things when it comes to my face and i will say this and honestly check the site when this happens because i swear every single year they do this when the sephora vabby sale comes around they always put this out of stock and i don't know if it's on purpose i don't, I, I don't know but just mark my words go ahead and check it let me know down below if i was correct because i feel like they literally pull it out for the sale like they don't want people to save money when it comes to this powder i don't know why but anyways i go ahead and use this for like my brow bone highlights just to give a little bit of brightness up there i use this to touch up my face throughout the day i also use this to um touch up my under eyes you know just anything you could think of with powder i will go ahead and use this just because it really is translucent it doesn't leave a white cast on your face like i'm very picky when it comes to translucent powders because a lot of them do give you flashback and all of that but this one literally just like melts into the skin okay really really good now of course if you watch my videos you already know about this one this is the makeup forever um hd skin matte velvet powder i love this stuff i can't live without it literally it gives you a filter on your face every time people tell me like um my skin looks good and they're always asking like what is the product i always say it's not my foundation it's not really my concealer it is this powder like once i go ahead and place this on top of my skin you guys I am good to go so what i do typically nowadays is i apply the fenty all over and blend that in and then i set my face with the makeup forever powder which i have on today and it just gives your skin like a very nice even you know complexion um so i always use this always have to have it currently running out so i do need a new one during the same so now moving on to bronzer i do have three i want to mention to you guys so the first one is the nars laguna number no. four cream bronzer so this is what it looks like right here um i love this shade so much it gives me like that you know tan okay from vacation or from the beach or whatever it is it gives you a nice looking tan on the face and also it just blends really nicely into the skin you guys i don't have to sit here and keep blending forever it just literally like blends really well so i really like this formula um i love this shade on me i just use this all the time and it's just really nice and easy to work with like y'all can see it on my skin today it looks very very natural and then to um set my cream bronzer i always use a charlotte tilbury bronzer in the shade tan number three i will say lately i want something darker so i may go ahead and pick up the nars um powder bronzer from the sephora vib sale just because this one lately hasn't been doing it for me like i just want to look so bronzy nowadays um so i do need something a little bit darker but i do love this formula and i may try number four when it comes to this line she does have a darker one so that's probably what i need to do go ahead and pick up the darker shade but this is so good you guys it doesn't look like you're wearing bronzer it just literally looks like airbrushed on the skin it just looks like perfection every single time which is why i always pick this up it is expensive but that's why the sale is here so you can save a little bit of money with that um, and then also when it comes to like adding a little bit more depth on my face or contouring my nose, I always use the Hoola Toasted by Benefit bronzer. This is just such a good bronzer, you guys. It is very deep. Don't let this fool you. Like in the pan, it looks like a chocolate shade, you know, you know, regular white. But when you go ahead and swatch this, it is so deep. It is so dark and it gives like a nice contour on the face now moving on to blush okay i only have two like sets of blushes that i do want to touch base on um the first one is the rare beauty blushes do i have to say anything i feel like i don't have to say anything okay i don't want to waste my breath because you guys already know they are so bomb i just love these so much i love how pigmented they are how they literally just like 
you apply it on right it looks a little bit crazy at first but you keep blending and blend and just blends right into the skin um these shades are stunning she has so many to pick from um and i have the shades in case you're interested grateful worth love and also um encourage these are just beautiful and actually on my face today i do have the shade love which is like an orangey shade as you guys can see uh, with a little bit of brown but i just love the way this looks every single time you guys like i just don't think there's any other liquid blush right now touching them in my opinion so now i also do have the armani beauty neo nude melting color balm in the shade 30. now i will say i feel like they took this out of sephora if i'm wrong i'm so sorry go to their website and get this but this is like the most gorgeous like blush on darker skin tone you guys because it's just like a very unique shade has a lot of brown in there a little bit of orange a little bit of peach but it just looks so natural every single time i put this on and i pretty much wear this all the time okay so they have a lot of shades to pick from but i love this formula because it is a cream blush but it does dry down matte on the face which i really appreciate so if it's not on their website i do apologize but go on um armani beauty or georgia armani um website and it is on there for sure i just think sephora took it out i don't i don't know why don't ask me now moving on to highlighter i do have the house of labs um bio radiant gel powder highlighter in the shade chocolate opal and this is what it looks like you guys this is such a beautiful highlighter i honestly use it as like a bronzer low-key kind of high key and i'll show you guys how i use this okay so what i do is you know sometimes i go ahead and apply highlighter on my cheeks but i also want like my forehead to have a little bit of shine too so i will go ahead and take this and just like hit a couple points and then also bring it onto my cheeks as well because i don't know i feel like sometimes it's just weird if this right here is glowy and everywhere else is matte so then i just take this and add it on my cheeks as well and then on my forehead just to add a little bit of glow everywhere pretty much but this shade the fact that it's a brown chocolate highlighter you don't see that often okay so i'm really really proud of them for doing that because you don't see that but of course when it comes to like my favorite highlighter in the whole entire world in case you're wondering what i have on my cheeks today this is the refi topaz gloss highlighter um this just looks so natural on the skin you guys it makes your skin just look wet but it's not sitting on top of your skin i feel like a lot of powder highlighters out there sit on top of your skin and they don't look natural this one looks like you're glowing from within and i just feel like there's no highlighter out there that's touching them. I swear, every single person that has picked this up has told me how much they love it. So y'all know I am not lying to you. Um, I cannot wait for them to come out with some new shades. I'm thinking of like a brownie one, a pink one. Like there's so many different directions that can go with this. But for now, I will say Refi has the best highlighter ever in my opinion. Especially their cream highlighter. Like this is so so bomb so let's move on to set and spray of course i'm not going to spend too much time on this one but you guys know the shard to reset and spray it's the best in my opinion okay like it locks in your makeup it doesn't let your makeup move around um it gives you a nice soft matte finish it is just my favorite i need another one of course but there's not so much to say about this like it's just bomb okay go ahead and pick it up okay i'm pretty sure you guys already have this at this point um but if there's any other setting spray that you guys are like teach you like you need to try this let me know down below but for now this one is my absolute favorite so let's move on to the eyes i do have four products i want to mention to you guys the first are two cream eyeshadows all right so this is the house labs Coco Matte Cream Eyeshadow. This is a nice brown base, okay? So for having darker skin like me, I feel like a lot of cream shades, especially like the brown ones, are never super dark enough. But this one, like, one thing about House Labs, I hope y'all can see this right here, yeah. House Labs, like, their products are so pigmented, especially for, like, darker skin tones. Like, they know what they're doing. When you put this on the eyes, you guys, it is the perfect base, and it does not move at all. Now, I usually go ahead and put this in the crease, and then I will use the Give, um, what's this one called? Bounce and Shoes Cream Eyeshadow on my lid. It is the perfect, like, nude 
brown for your lids in case you're interested in you know colors like that but this is what it looks like right here a very nice nude so imagine like the dark brown in a crease and this on the lids tell me you see the vision tell me you see the vision okay it's just bomb i don't like to do too much with my eyes nowadays you guys i keep it very simple and just those two is all i need pretty much now i do have the um urban decay moon dust eyeshadow in the shade space cowboy you guys know this is a staple everybody and their mother has this at this point but it's the perfect shimmer shade for your lids it literally just gives you like a nice iridescence like look to the eyes it's just so glittery so shiny just so perfect every time you put this on like i'm telling you somebody's gonna compliment your eyes trust me and then last but not least for the eyes i do have the path mcgrath labs um liquid eyeliner i will put the exact name down below for you guys but this is what i've been using lately and it's so dark and so pigmented and very easy to work with um so it does have like the felt tip right here and you just go ahead and just draw your eyeliner you guys like, it's so easy to work with and once it sets y'all it does not move okay it does not move i don't want to swatch it for you guys because literally it will not come off um but i love that about this and honestly i got this sent to me by fabfitfun but i will say i was really impressed when i tried this out i was like why haven't i heard about this i don't know but it's really good you guys so yeah definitely go ahead and pick that one up so for makeup we do have two more categories before we move on to perfume um so the first one i do want to mention is like tools or like brushes for your face i love the refined duo brush um ever since i got this you guys i just find so many fun ways to use this every single time so i do take this like the what do you call this side the stippling side um to blend my foundation or to blend my bronzer or to blend my blush like there's so many different things i use this for but it just blends everything really nicely and it doesn't shed at all for me and then i go ahead and use the other side to like blend my concealer into my face um sometimes blend my brush not my brush my blush in as well and i think that's all i use it for pretty much but this right here by itself is really really good i am not the biggest brush person but um having this has been like really nice for me in my routine makes everything very simple and fast for me um so yeah i really like this and then also the sephora puff these are so good you guys they're only five dollars i don't think they have it online i've checked they don't have it online but if you see this in your store come closer buy like four or five of them i'm so serious because literally these are never in stock like ever the day i saw this there was like 10 or 15 of them and i should have bought more um because this is the best puff in my opinion it is so big it's fluffy i've washed this like so many times and it goes right back to its shape like it is so good if y'all live in north carolina and you see this in stock let me know down below so i can go ahead and pick it up okay because i want more like i just want to have all them all right <laughs> okay so last but not least for makeup i do want to talk about the lips you guys know i am like a lip junkie i just love lip gloss chapstick lick a lipstick all of that so let's get into it so the first two lip products i do want to mention is a summer fridays lip butter balms i have it in the shade brown sugar and also cherry i don't know why it took me so long to find that brown sugar and cherry um these are just so stunning you guys like they're low-key addicting like i don't know what it is but you want to keep applying it on your lips like over and over like it's just so good all right um in case you don't know what it looks like this one here cherry and mind you these swatches are not going to do it justice like it depends on your lip tint or the shade of your lip okay so this is what cherry looks like they're so pigmented and they smell so good like i love cherry i wear cherry like all the time and now brown sugar is more of like a neutral color on me but this is brown sugar very very beautiful you guys like these two you can't go wrong with like i want all of them i want to collect them all i swear like pokemons because not pokemons oh my gosh gg but i want to collect them all like i want every single one of them they smell so good and they just look pretty in every single skin tone out there i'm obsessed with them all right now the next two i want to mention is the ysl candy glaze lipsticks i have the shade 14 and 15 
which are scenic brown and showcase and nude now showcase and nude is like that pinky shade like that pinky brown shade and this is so stunning you guys like number one the packaging the packaging is bomb so this is showcase and nude like a light pink shade go ahead and pair this with like a brown lip liner you're pretty much in heaven and the next one is scenic brown this one i love you know in combination with this so i will go ahead and put this all around the perimeter of my lips and then i will put showcase and nude in the middle sometimes if i'm feeling a little bit froggy but scenic brown by itself you guys is so stunning um this is what it looks like right next to showcase and nude showcase and nude scenic brown y'all can see that and these are very moisturizing they feel very luxurious you guys on the lips like they feel very very good they are pricey honey but they are worth it in my opinion so for lip gloss i've been loving the path mcgrath labs flesh fantasy lust gloss and this one y'all is so good as a topper it is like the perfect nude color like swatching it is not going to do it any justice but just trust me you guys like my favorite combo it's like that nudie like almost like not white but like a very nude pale lip with like a dark brown lip liner i go ahead and top off my lips with this perfection so actually for the sale i am going to go ahead and get the bigger one just because i need this in my life like it's so comfortable very moisturizing and it's just like the best lip topper in my opinion and then also on the makeup by mario what is this called their plumping lip color i have miss rose and another one i've been trying to find the other one you guys but i can't find it it's like a peachy shade i will go ahead and put it down below the peachy shade is actually my favorite one so i know it's somewhere i just don't know where it is um but these are very nice you guys very just simple lip glosses to go ahead and just throw on your lips i do feel like they don't last as long on my lips because i always have to like go in and like reapply but nonetheless i love how pigmented they are and how many different nudes there are you know to pick from so miss rose is one of my favorites because it's like that typical brownie pinky shade like y'all see one swipe how pigmented that is just one swipe yeah and the other one wherever it is i don't know um that one is really pretty as well but i will put it down below for you guys and then also speaking of missing like its other partner or sister whatever you want to call it um i have the make it forever rouge artist matte liquid lipstick and the shade 192 toffee at all hours is what it's called toffee at all hours um this one i love it's like a brownie peachy shade and i love this with like a dark brown lip liner let me show you guys what that looks like yeah this one is so pretty i will go ahead and top it off with the path mcgrath one like this combo here you guys is so fire like a dark brown lip liner just trust me now my favorite liquid lipstick from this line is called immortal rosewood and i don't know where it is like i have no clue i don't know but i'm gonna find her okay like my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses i pretty much carry with me all the time like in my car or in my bags so that's why they're missing um yeah i need to find them because those are like my favorite two shades that i'm missing right now but it is what it is okay go ahead and pick those up i will put the names down below for you guys in case you're interested um the last two products one of them is cara cara from merit beauty this is their tinted lip oil you guys know i love all of them like i love every single one of the shades that they have they're so stunning they're very pigmented very moisturizing and they last a long time but this one i find myself using often just because i love a good orange product all right so because this matches my outfit i will go ahead and put this on my lips again just like a little bit of a touch up but they're so comfortable they're not too oily where like they're moving around like it's not any of that pretty much you will go ahead and put it on your lips it'll give you a little bit of color a little bit of a shine and it lasts a long time you guys like i'm obsessed with this line like i want every single shade i pretty much own most of them at this point but this is just the one that i use all the time and then last but not least i have the fenty beauty um cream gloss in the shade fruit snacks this one i use pretty much when i'm not like wearing any makeup when i don't wear makeup i love to have like a tinted lip i need like some color on my lip um and this is like my go-to shade like if i'm not using my 
summer fridays um cherry lip balm i will go ahead and use this one instead the only thing about this is the packaging i feel like it leaks all the time and it's red so i can't put it in my bag or anything like that um pretty much i just wear this at home at this point um but it's a very pigmented gloss you guys like all you need is a little bit which i will show you guys like y'all see that insane it is so pigmented but yeah the packaging is just i don't know it always leaks for me i don't know if you guys have that issue um i love the shades i just can't carry them in my purse pretty much so now let's move on to one of my favorite categories you guys which is perfume i love me a good perfume y'all like i just love to smell good i love to smell good i don't know what it is but i mean i do know what it is i want to smell good so starting with coffee break coffee break is just like the perfect name for this it just smells like you're in a cafe um while you're working you can smell like the coffee brewing and it's not straight up coffee you guys it's like coffee but with like sweet notes in there very comforting every time i put this on it just feels very cozy and then of course my favorite one is the by the fireplace perfume it just feels like you're by a bonfire and you can see and smell the marshmallow like roasting um the crackling wood all of that and as i'm describing this i know you guys are probably thinking like you know who wants to smell a bonfire i don't know what they put in here but it's like a very sweet version of that like replica when they say like whatever their perfume is you know going to be called they mean that like whatever their perfume is called it's gonna smell like that but in a wearable version if that makes sense okay now also i do have the mugler by angel perfume this specific one i will put the name down below um because i can't remember what it's called but they sent this to me you guys and i pretty much wear it all the time like i literally looked at it today you guys it is down here i am sick like i'm not spraying this anymore because i don't want this to run out but this just smells like i'm trying to describe it to you guys it smells like a perfume that you can wear like in the daytime but it does have a little bit of like a sexy scent to it but it smells really fresh on the skin that's why i wear this all the time during the day because it gives me like that fresh scent but a little bit sexy in there okay i'm not gonna you know describe my perfumes but this is really good you guys like really really good and the packaging is just so luxurious now also i do have four minis i do want to talk about a lot of these i've already like used up completely and i have to repurchase but the first one is a roll-on this is the good girl carolina herrera um new york perfume my friend actually gave this to me for my birthday in a little set and i was like girl where have i been like this is just such a beautiful scent like it smells like a woman like it just smells like a straight up woman like a sexy woman it's not too um powerful where like it's a little bit too much it's not anything like that you guys it just smells like a sexy woman that's on a date like on a date it just smells so good i'm like where have i been mm. every time i put this on i just keep sniffing it because it smells so good this is one of my favorites i put this like on my wrist behind my ear on my neck and also um where like my knee creases i put it in there too as well anywhere that like skin is rubbing you should go ahead and apply perfume too because the heat from that area um will go ahead and just keep like producing throughout the day and just making the perfume smell better and better as time goes on now two kaoli perfumes i do have are the kaoli young pistachio um perfume i have the sample one this one just it just smells like a cake like a cake like a bakery with cake cupcakes like all this sweet is what this smells like i just cannot get enough of it y'all can see there's a little bit left i don't want to spray it because if i run out i'm gonna be upset either i get the really big one and just you know take the hit and spend the money but for now i just love this small sample because i do travel a lot y'all so having something that small just works for me and then also have the Kiali Eden Juicy Apple Perfume. This just smells like you came out the shower. Like you smell so clean, so juicy. You just smell so nice. Like you just wash your hair with shampoo and conditioner. That's what this smells like. And I love this so much. Like I really need to really just get the big sizes of this and just stop playing around because the samples are cute. But like after 10 sprays, y'all, like it's done for. 
um so i do need to re-up on those and then last but not least my favorite perfume that i'm gonna be obsessed with this summer and spring actually is the ellis brooklyn sweet perfume i'm actually buying the big one during the sale you guys because this scent i just cannot get enough of it it just gives me it just gives me so like it gives me spring it's very sweet like it's so sweet like whoever you walk by is gonna ask you what you're wearing because it just smells so good like i'm not good at the scent you guys but just go into sephora sniff this and you know exactly what i'm talking about like it just smells like jolly ranchers and juicy fruit and like all the sweet candies like mixed together it just smells good i'm obsessed with it and the big one is like 110 dollars but during the sale y'all i get to save a little bit of money all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get the big one this time so let's get into one of my favorite categories which is skincare you guys and skincare is so important to me like i have literally been going to bed every single night taking off my makeup washing my face for like months now and typically there's usually one day that you like you mess up and just you're just way too tired you go ahead and forget but like i don't play about skincare y'all like i've been consistent lately okay so the first one i want to mention is the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser from you to the people um this is such a good product you guys a lot of people use this because it does clean your face but it doesn't strip your face of all the oils but it will go ahead and remove all the dirt and gunk and makeup that's on your your skin i love this um and it's really great for like my oily skin because sometimes a lot of cleansers out there are too harsh where you will go ahead and use it and it will make your skin really clean but because of how much it strips your skin of the oil you start to overproduce oil if you're oily like me so this is a great um cleanser for combination skin dry skin oily skin doesn't matter it's just a really good cleanser and i love it so much now the next thing i do want to mention is a polish choice exfoliates toner this is a two percent bha liquid exfoliant this here i don't play about y'all like i do not play about this the moment i run out i have to go ahead and get another one because there was a week week and a half a couple weeks ago where i ran out and i didn't you know repurchase this right away and i started to notice my forehead start to get a bunch of like bumps and rashes and my skin just did not look good i'm like what is going on like it's only been a week and a half and my skin was acting up so i have to use this all the time you guys because it helps to unclog and shrink your pores it smooths an even skin tone and it's lightweight and absorbs quickly into the skin like i have to have this y'all like the way my skin was acting up i was like i don't know her like what is going on right now but yes it is the best toner my absolute favorite and then also the last three are from the anki list I love this brand so much because they're really affordable but they're great okay they actually work so i have their collagen peptide serum this here helps to plump your skin and also make it look youthful and help it with you know collagen production so this doesn't actually have collagen in it you guys it just helps collagen production over time when it comes to your skin and also plumps your skin and make it look you know youthful so i always apply this all over and then also i use my niacinamide serum this helps to control the appearance of excess oil and it also helps with dark marks so i go ahead and apply this on top too as well i just always use niacinamide serum for like years now so yeah and i feel like my skin over time without makeup has really evened up like i'm really shocked like my skin before compared to now is like two different people so i always continue to have this in my routine and then also i have the inky list retinol serum this is just really good you guys retinol is so good for your skin like honestly you should start it as soon as possible because it helps with preventing wrinkles and signs of aging all of that i will swear by retinol like it is the best i cannot stop using this and they're really affordable you guys like they have great ingredients for an affordable price because retinol with some other brands are like 80 dollars fifty dollars this is like fifteen dollars if that and then also last but not least for the lips i love my laneige lip sleeping mask this is nothing new i'm sure everybody has this at this point but it's the best moisturizer for your lips you guys makes it very supple and soft and just moisturize always have to have this y'all in my routine 
so the last category is hair and i always have to mention the dry bar um single shots like when it came to blow drying my hair back in the day i used to have a blow dryer and a brush and just kind of go like that like i can't believe that was my life like that was really my life that's crazy so with this like it's just so easy you go ahead and plug it in and just roll your hair in it you guys and it gets a very super straight and sleek and nice like every time i do my hair people always think i get it done professionally i have it up today but literally my hair last week honey she was flowing she looked fresh i actually want to do my hair again just because of how nice it looked but this gets a very nice very smooth very sleek it is the perfect tool very expensive but i think it's so worth it you guys like it has saved me so much time i can go ahead and blow dry my hair in like 10 minutes now and my hair is very thick and coarse okay and the last thing I do want to mention is the Bondi Boost Rapid Repair Serum. You guys know my story about me dyeing my hair red. I really damaged my hair. And I actually got my hair professionally done. So it was still damaged after that. Um, but this has helped me when it comes to like blow drying my hair and straightening my hair. It makes my ends not look as crazy. Um, it makes them look very smooth and just healthy looking. So I always use this in my routine. And it just really gives me like the best look when it comes to like my hair um texture because y'all coloring your hair is so nice to color your hair but at the same time the damage it does it's just so crazy to me but this has really helped me you guys um but that's everything you guys i feel like i'm forgetting something if i am i will let you guys know down below but let me know what you're picking up during the sale okay is there anything i mentioned that you want to learn more about let me know down below i will go ahead and answer all your questions and let me know any products i should pick up that i haven't tried at all you know on my channel so yeah with that being said i love you guys so much make sure you go ahead and hit that like subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video when it comes to my sephora vip sale haul